Hello and welcome to this video, which is a different one for this channel. Today is Sunday the 14th and it's about 11.30 and I'm going to be taking you with me for the next 48 hours. So I'm probably going to be finishing recording this video on what is Tuesday the 16th at around 11.30 as well. Um, so we've just taken a shower and I thought, you know what, instead of making this a shorter video, let's make it a really long video and have a laugh with it because I need to get better at doing this because this is hard to do for me. Um, <laughs> so the plan is we're going to go to Paris. We're going to take the Eurostar to Paris to meet Ness or Rimmel. I don't know how I've introduced her in other videos. But she is the lady that I met while streaming, and she lives in America, and I've never met her in person, so this feels like a great opportunity because she's traveling Europe right now. So, we're gonna go and meet her in Paris, and then have fun with that. But before we start getting ready to do that, I've gotta finish editing another Gang Beasts video, which I think everyone quite liked, so thank you, and hello to any of the new people who have joined. So we're gonna finish doing this and do some stuff on the channel to get everything ready uh, for my disappearance. We do have a fair bit of content already scheduled, you can't see it, it's a little bit hard to see, but there is some scheduled content already in the pipelines and ready, so that's good. Um, but I need to do this first, before we can actually move on and actually start packing and doing everything you need for travel, like passport, wherever that is, and all sorts. Well, before I even got a chance to start editing that video, I got a lovely invite to come out into this beautiful weather and go for a coffee uh, and a catch up with a friend. So that's what we're going to do. I'm trying to do this more so that I can actually also learn to hold the camera a little better while talking to you guys and actually looking at the camera because I've noticed in the, the first two clips or so, it's very hard to look at the camera because it's here and I'm looking in my own eyes. Um, but yeah, so we're going for a little bit of coffee and a little bit of catch up. So when we get back, we've got to finish that video real quick. Um, we're going to do that. And then once we've done that, we can move on to packing and getting ready for what is going to be a hectic day tomorrow. It's only one day, one day in Paris. That's all we've got. Like from 10 till seven. So not even, not even 12 hours, less than that. Uh, nine hours, nine hours of solid Paris fun. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Look at the, look at the lovely view. A nice river. It's beautiful here, it really is, and it's a bloody sunny day. My God. Anyway, I'm gonna go and have some coffee and then we'll, we'll be back. Okay, it's now two o'clock. Coffee went on longer than expected. I wanted to have the video uploaded for one, uh, so that's not happening. So we're gonna edit the video really quickly, then we're gonna pack what we need to pack and I'll show you the little gift I've got them. Uh, and then, I don't know, but it's, it was nice. I had, a, I had a coffee tonic, which is something I've never had before. I think I've got a little, little clip of it. And a, and a salmon snack of sourdough and avo. It was delicious. Um, but yeah, coffee tonic, weird but very nice. Would highly recommend it if you haven't had one before. Right, so, video done and live. It's there, it's live. Five people have watched it, thrills. Um, we need to pack, so I'm gonna take my bag with me even though it's kind of unnecessary. Uh, I would throw you, but that feels unnecessary. And it will take a portable charger because one thing I've learnt is we cannot record all day on my phone with the battery it has. So that is there. And we'll take headphones with us for entertainment because I think I've got about five hours of travel in total to do. So charger, Rubik's Cube for a bit more entertainment because that is at least fun to do. I think that's it to be fair. I don't think we're going to take much. Oh, but the gifts. So. I got Ness and her partner some cool t-shirts. See how I can do this with one hand. I T-shirt. 
So that's for NASA's partner. And then, because they're not coming to England for their European tour, which rude, I thought... This seems small now, now that I'm looking at it. I don't know. Oh no, hold up. I wish I was in London. <laughs> so we're going to take those to those guys as well, so that they can <laughs> they can actually have a little gift from me. Because there's nothing I can really give them from the UK other than baked beans. And I don't think anyone cares about baked beans that much. Um, so we've got our our stuff that we need to put away. And I think the next clip you will see of me now is probably going to be very early morning because there's not much left to do for the evening. Um, but we do have to wake up. Well, I want to leave at 5.30, <laughs> so we've got to wake up at like at least 5, if not earlier, so I will see you early in the morning. <laughs> Hello, okay, it's, it's uh, 3.50 in the morning, um, I've decided to wake up now because I want to head over there, or I want to leave the house at 5. Um, so, 3.50 means I got up, I have an hour to get ready, and maybe get myself sorted, and then leave at 5. Oh, my alarm's literally just gone off. Um, yeah, so we can leave at 5, get there for 5.30 have like an hour and a half to one know how to get onto the Eurostar and then chill and get coffee um, ugh, it's gonna be a long day anyway I'm gonna start getting ready and we will vamoose you say you don't wanna get in trouble that you don't think that you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge Multivitamins You can at least try and be a healthy person Then, because I've woken up so early, I've got this, which is supposedly to help your eyes not look too tired. Which I'm sure we do. Well, isn't that a great way to start the morning? I just threw coffee all over myself while opening that can. But this is our lifesaver. Oh, a little bit of cold coffee in the morning. Just got coffee everywhere. I really did just. I tried to be like, oh, let's do a cold can opening. Let's make it look nice. Yeah, I've got coffee all over myself. Um, this is it. It's 4.30 now, I think. Uh, 4.30. Um, so we've done everything. We're ready. We can relax for a little bit. And then in about half an hour, we're going to head off. Well, we've managed to leave bang on five, which is, is nice. But uh, I am realising it's horribly raining, which is great. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping the weather is better in Paris. 
which is a weird thing to say that I'm like walking out of my house and like in like three hours or so, well not three hours, I guess technically five, because I get there for ten, but in like five hours I'm going to be in Paris, which with five, saying five hours sounds less weird because that sounds quite reasonable, but I don't know, I feel like you guys know what I'm talking about, but anyway, we are off, it's horrible, a uh, great start to the day. So I've made it through security now, uh, and I'm waiting in the, in the, the seating area. Uh, I've got to wait for my boarding, so 7.01 to Paris, still waiting boarding. So I've got about an hour to kill probably, maybe like what it says, platforms will be shown 20 minutes. So I've got 40 minutes to kill. Um, I think everyone's had the same idea of getting coffee in here. So a bit of a rogue thought that I could could beat these people. So I might not end up getting coffee, but it's all right, it's quite chill. It wasn't too bad. Security was really quick. Um, they were really nice in comparison to airport security as well. Airport security is vicious, but um, they were quite nice. I even, I even I was like, oh, can I throw away my water bottle? And they were like, you're traveling on the ground, mate. Don't worry about it. I was like, sweet, because I've got a bottle of LucasAid with me. So if I can't get coffee, at least I've got that. But anyway, uh, next stop, Paris. Just heading towards my carriage now. Let's go and see if I can find my seat. from my face that we can we can actually get some details out of stuff but it's so cool let's see if we can my head's blocking everything <laughs> it's too large it's too large maybe we just need some b-roll I don't know maybe that's maybe that's what we need now is just b-roll because you can't see a thing because I am dead center on this camera I'm getting vlogging down to a T down to a goddamn T so many French flags around there. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is technically, just technically, uh, Pigeon. Pigeon. Uh, technically my heritage. But is it really? I have the passport, but am I really? Look at how sick this is. Let's see if we can look at just the, the stunning beauty of this area is crazy. And it's not that busy. Suddenly there's a store called Picard, like on Star Trek. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna get some, some nice shots of everything, and then I think we'll, we'll come back for other bits that we're doing and whatnot. You say you don't wanna get in trouble, that you don't find cause you got me. I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy You can do whatever you like you don't Gotta trust the right, don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You don't have to be. I see you hesitating. Why are you waiting? Like somebody's gonna give it to you. You gotta chase it. Gotta believe it. You gotta go 
this thing. This thing is huge. Head for scale, distanced away. It's nuts. It's stunning here, it really is. France is a beautiful country. And huge, much bigger than England. Much more confusing at times, but damn those buildings. Look at my forehead, huge. And still this building is tiny in comparison to my large forehead. It's a very romantic place. I feel very, very left out while everyone's here with partners kissing and stuff and I'm walking alone with a camera and you guys. But it's fantastic. Look at all of this. I'm having to get used to just trying to vlog in real life without people questioning what the fuck I'm doing. And to be fair, I'm questioning what the fuck I'm doing as well, but it's, it's so cool here. Look at all of this. I look like such a tourist with this camera rig as well. <laughs> So what, we left at like 5.30. I've been up since, of course, four. Um, I'm shattered. Uh, I've got tomorrow off, luckily, so I'll edit this video and I'll probably come back with a bit more of a recap of what we've done, because it's mostly been clippy bits. I haven't really vlogged a huge amount while I was with Ness and her partner, because uh, I've just, like, I've been having fun. I wanted to spend the time with them, obviously. Like, I've taken some snippets and stuff, and. I'll do a bit of a recap and talk about things that we did and show some clips and show some pictures, but my god, not now. Not now at all. I am dead. Dead to the world. Anyway, let's uh let's maybe cut to tomorrow morning where I'll be a bit more spry. Right, well we're back. That was such a long day for me. I ended up doing a little bit of stuff when I got home, so I think I got to sleep around half twelve meaning I did like a 20 hour day. Oh, I slept for 12 hours after that. <laughs> so I know at the start I said, we'll finish this video at 11. It's currently 4.30. Um, <laughs> Cause I slept, I had some lunch and then I started editing and then I was like watching all the clips and I was like, oh yeah, I need to finish this video off, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so, let's have like a little bit of a recap about what we did, because we had a really good time. Um, so I, I turned up initially and we went and met at the Pantheon, which I can put some pictures here, you will have seen some clips anyway. If I sit here for the whole of this little ending bit, we can sort of scatter things through and through without me constantly shifting myself. Um, so yeah, we went to the Pantheon and we saw some things there, which were beautiful. And it's the stunning building. It's the building I was stood outside of for a while in those video clips. Um, and we met up there and we had a great time doing that. Then we decided to go for lunch and we went to this tiny little place where they trapped me inside a table. They, they like pulled two tables apart, let me walk in, closed it behind me. There was no leaving. It was great though. We went there and we had um, had a 14 ounce steak, but it was from a dairy cow. It was a ribeye steak from a dairy cow, which is super weird. And they only told us that at the end after we paid as well, which feels shady. I don't know. But either way, it was really nice. We had that with some like potatoes and some salad and some mustard. Mwah, delicious. 
Um, I didn't take pictures of that because I was starving. Because all I had eaten is a ham and cheese croissant at that point, And it was probably like midday past that point. So we had the food and it was really nice. And that was right by, literally by Notre Dame, which is beautiful. And it's such a shame because like it's under reconstruction, obviously, after the fire. So I didn't take any pictures because it's just like, you know, there's nothing to see. It's, it's a lot of scaffolding, unfortunately. Um, but after that... We decided to walk over to the Louvre because we had a booking to go and have a wander around there. It absolutely covered us in rain though. Like we started walking over there and it was like, oh, it's spitting, no problem. By the time we got outside the Louvre, it was absolutely chucking it down. It was raining so heavily and our appointment was for like 3.30 because we had a booking. Um, but it was probably like two o'clock and we were like, let's just try. We need to try and go in early. There's no way we're, we're faffing around in the rain now. So we, we tried to go in and they let us in luckily. We had a wonderful time wandering around there. Again, I've got some more pictures. We did see the Mona Lisa, but the room was very busy. So we didn't actually go up close and faff around a huge amount because the amount of tourists and stuff not that we weren't tourists but there were just lots of people uh which is also another reason why i didn't vlog in some of these places because one it would have been very loud two what i've only just realized while editing this is the the actual camera stand i use has a mic incorporated into it which i thought was great i was like this is perfect so i i use this which is the like uh i think it's called like the road vlogger or whatever and um, I like the stand. The stand's really nice. I also like the microphone, but I think I forget every time that it generates a mono track rather than a stereo track. So actually, the mic is almost useless um, because the fact that it generates worse audio... Well, it's difficult. It's hard to judge. I would say it generates worse audio than my just iPhone's built-in microphone, but some people could argue that maybe the quality's better. I'm not here to argue that. I'm not happy with the audio quality that comes out of it, so we'll probably end up just using it like this and just dumping the mic for now. Um, and maybe we'll try and get a better mic for more vlogging, because I'd like to do more vlogging, I'd like to get better at it, but that was the reason I didn't do a huge amount of this vlogging while we were out and about, because there were lots of tourists so it was going to be very loud audio. You probably couldn't hear much. Uh, and then in the places where it was quiet, like the Pantheon and everything, it's all about being very respectful, obviously, and you don't want to be just going, so guys, today we're having a wander around the Pantheon. It's great here. <laughs> so I was like, let's let's kind of keep it to a minimum. Um, but yeah, so we had, we went to the Louvre and it was really good. And then we just kind of rounded the day off with some drinks and had a bit of a laugh because, of course, I wasn't there for a huge amount of time. Um, but it was so good. It was great to meet them. They actually, they got me a t-shirt as well. If I can rotate it. So we did a bit of a t-shirt swap. It's really cute. I really like it. So I'm going to be having a, a great time wearing this. It suits me quite nice. I like a grey. So yeah, we had a great time. I think for what it was being, what, like 48 hours I was vlogging for, um, it was really good. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have and you want to see me do more things, if you have specific things you want me to do, tell me. I'll try and do them. If you just want to see more of my everyday shenanigans and ramblings and you want to see me try and vlog a little bit better, let me know and we'll try and do that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different video for me and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video. I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything, go, go wild.